Following on from the previous video, teach your kids to be able to fluently do this. So when you present this, one thing multiply with another thing, the two will merge together to give you this. Now invest your time and effort in, into getting your kids to be fully fluent in, in multiplying the two together. Because it's, it's a very important skill. This is a very important skill. Getting this multiply with this. Because other concepts um, can, can easily be, be built on top of this. So it's a very important skill. Invest your time and effort in, into teaching your kids to be fluent in, in being able to get this and multiply with this to give you this. So the, once they're fluent, you can, you can then, you can then, um, you can then extend it to this. So now, now, uh, now you've got three whatever, uh, plus four whatever, uh, plus another two whatever. Teach them to recognize that this is exactly the same as this. So it's like them having three elegraph plus two elegraph. So, so elegraph, elegraph, they're both the same. So you can actually merge the two together to say you've got five elegraphs. Um, and then, and then this thing here is different. This is a liger. So, so it's totally different. So you can't merge these two together. Well, the most important thing is get them to be able to, to multiply something like this. In that, in that when they have whatever here, multiply with whatever, the two will merge together to create the new, a new whatever here. So, so this, this new whatever is different from this whatever and this whatever. So the, the point is get them to be fluent in, in multiplying this with this. So, so once they are fluent in this, you can then extend the concept of simplification so that they can simplify something like this to give them this. And then, uh, and then also, also now and then slip this in. So if, if you have x, y times what, oh, sorry, and then, and then slip this in, in, in that, um, ask them if, if they are able to merge this. Here you've got x, y, the, the thing is, slip this, slip this in. Ask them, is x, y the same as y, x? And the answer is that yes, they are both the same. Because 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. So when you, when you have two things multiplying with each other, it doesn't matter if you, if you do 5 times 3 or 3 times 5. So a, b is the same as b, a. So the answer to this is yes, they can merge these two together. It becomes 5, x, y or y, x. But the point is, it will become five. Okay, and then also, also, um, so also get train them to be able to get this and multiply with this. Even though you've got z to the power of three here, you can still do it to give you this. So, so they're all multiplying with each other. So get this times with this, x to the power of seven times x to the power of three to give you this, and then y merge it with the y here. Well, here you you would have to append this here. Teach them this as well. It's a very important skill. And also now and then, now and then slip this in. Ask them to do this. And then, and then they, they will just automatically assume that they will have to multiply the two together. But no, you can't because it's a plus. So now and then trick them. Um, well, realize that in order for you to add, well, if you multiply, then you don't care. You, you just, mo you just merge the two together. But here you've got, uh, you're adding. So you've got to make sure that the two entities are the same. So it's like me giving you three bananas and ask you to add with two apples. So they're two different things. Banana, apple, they're, they're, they're two different things. So you can't, you can't add the two. So now and then trick them by adding this, this uh, plus sign. So, so in order for them to add, they, they've got to make sure that these two are the same and then they can add. In this case, they can't add. So they've got no choice but to leave it as, as it is. To leave it as it is, to leave it as this. Okay. So now and then trick them by 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 asking them to add, uh, and then now and then times now and then add and so on. Alternate between the two so that they so that they realize that when they add, they're going to make sure that these two are the same, and then they can add. Okay.